Please stand. I see in In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, um, the peace of our Lord be with you. Um. We enter into the first week of ordinary time, uh, and also I ask you especially pray for those who annoy yesterday. I get called to hospital not only once, three times, uh, and yes, when I accelerate mass in Olympia, they call me. I came here, I went over, come back, and they call again. So it's many people are sick. And so I ask you, please remember and pray for them. Uh, and also pray for those family who lost their loved one. Uh, trust in God's love and mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our worst sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in time past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe. Who is the ref of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I will, or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thank be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment 
are the foundation of his throne. Let all his angels worship him. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. Let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods, let all his angels worship him. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you, them. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little further, farther, and saw James, the John, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father, Zebedee, in the boat, along with higher men, and follow him. Um, the Gospel of the Lord. Um, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First, I welcome you here for the first week of Ordinary Tama. And yes, it's so special, we conclude the Christmas celebration. And after the 4 p.m. Mass yesterday, I came back in with Father Fung and many of the people that who come, and you see how different all the decorations have been taken down, not only on Saturday for outside, but last night, and that kind of people who helping, I could not believe that they did that and finished with it and put the banner of the ordinary time on, clean the church the best that they can. That's where the stewardship of time and talent, and that's how we appreciate those who come in every day. We have daily mass, and we have more activity events, so you can witness by your own eyes and appreciate how hard and all the work that we are doing, because we believe and everyone keep in little bits and make things so different for that. And yes, Christmas is over now. Jesus, after his baptism, he going to do his public ministry. And yes, the public ministry today, that's how he has done if we hear right away that Jesus go and ask us one thing, and that thing is hard for many of us to do. Repent. Repent and come back to the Lord. Repent. And yet, how is that even to connect with each one of us and make it so important? Many of us that probably we have the knowledge and wisdom God gave to us, but we think that the whole world into our hand, but it's not. We are little for the big world and so much. For example, that St. Anne, we are in transition, 
and many of us, if we only look at CNN and then compare with five Paris, we are nothing, you know. It's, it's something bigger than us. But if only five Paris looking into the archdiocese, almost 200 Paris, and it's like very small. But if we in CNN, that more detail that we're looking into is not little. There is CNN and Vietnamese community, Samoa community, Korea community, so many different ethnic, and it's big. And it's a lot that for us. And not only one issue, so many different issues concern so many things. And yet today, Jesus say, repent and come back. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. And yet many things we know, we might know that we are very little. We are not knowing the whole thing. And we also trust that the guidance from the Holy Spirit read them. Like for me yesterday, I say Sunday, oh, I just marked down the mass I have to celebrate and I prepare for that. I say, if I able to do this, that will be wonderful, you know. And after 7.45 mass, after 9.45 a.m. mass, and after someone called to St. John of the Wood, 11 o'clock, and I say, oh, this thing is so good. And then I have that Vietnamese mass, that fine Olympian, come back here for the walking on, take the decoration down. Wow, I have well organized. Say, this Sunday is wonderful. It's okay that I can make it. And then the emergency call. And this person need that. That, wow, is stacking up. I say, wow, what should I do? You know, in one of the emergency calls, I say, can he wait for tomorrow? You know, and the nurse say, oh, no, no, father, he's dying, you know. Yet yeah, we need you to be here. And I, I, you all have the different reason. I say, oh, well, this and that, and COVID. And this. Say, oh, no, no, Father, you will be at the emergency. We there. We escort you up. We have all the gear on you. Don't worry. You just annoy so. It's all the things that God calls us in different ways. How we do that? I never think about I have to do this. But yeah. So God calls us even the ordinary time. Yes. Many things do we willing to be humble ourselves in serving, in allow God to work with us and allow God to call and we can respond like the Virgin Mary. Humbly herself say, yes, let it be done so the Lord can take care of what we need to do. So please stand up. So we offer ourselves in prayer as we say them. That all baptized live in justice and unity, faithful to the gospel's call, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That governors and legislatures work for just law and end discriminations due to race, nationality, or economic class. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To all who have suffered the destruction of war, quickly find the lasting peace offered by the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people who have strayed from God's path find in Jesus a friend who comforts and guides them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this faith community live up to their baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Joyce and Tracy Cartwright for, and Lanu Laufau, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. 
for these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you to bless upon the prayer we present to you. We also ask you to bless upon all those people who are sick after Christmas, for those people who lost their loved ones, for all those people who lost their job, and all different families who have challenging of all of this coronavirus and difficulty for the beginning of the new year. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wise we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human heart. Lord, wash away my nukati and free me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people of blessing, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness, and obtain what they devotely entreat through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things, whom you send us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and bonds of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim um, holy, holy, holy Lord. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Have this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the plus of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the water and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who are in heaven, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously and peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent 
her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace and love. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord. My Jesus, I believe.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with life pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord.